what is up guys welcome back to another episode of react navigation tutorial for beginners and in today's episode we are going to see how we can add custom options to the header of our navigation so as you can see here this portion is the header of the navigation so we are going to see how we can add custom options to further customize our navigation okay so if that sounds good do what to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel do what to subscribe to the channel as well and i'm going to appreciate it very much and you can also leave your thoughts in the comment section as well okay let's quickly go straight into the video so in our previous episode we, we learned how to uh, pass params from one screen to the other so from here we are passing the param name and then the age of a user right so when we click the details button it brings us here to the details screen where we are getting the value of name and then the age which is 21 as a param and then we are using it on that screen and we can see that in the in the home screen the home screen.js file where we are passing these params and then we are getting it on the details screen so that's what we did in our previous one so in today's video i'm going to see how we can customize and then use these params in our navigation okay so first of all on our stack on our home screen which is the stack screen for home we are going to change the title we are having here from home to something like say welcome okay that's what we are going to do to do that i'm going to use the options parameter here or the options prop here and then we are going to pass in it's an it takes an object right so a key value pair so i'm going to say title and then we pass in the title we want which is welcome like so so we want to see the title instead of home we want to see welcome so as you can see it has changed and this means you can change the title from anything you want like you can use anything you want as the title of your header you don't necessarily have to maintain the default one which picks from the name of the stack right so you can easily change the title to whatever you want but what if you want to use the value of a param that you are passing instead of um, hard coding the, the title so for instance when you move to the details screen you are seeing details here right what if you want the name the value of the name here to be the title instead of having to hard code it in the code okay because this value here we are we are we are we are we, are, we haven't we are getting it from the params right we are getting it from the params so what if you want to use the same params value as the title now this is essential for situations where you want to use a user's name on their profile page right so suppose the user routes to the profile page you want to um, use the value of their name as the uh, the title okay you can pass it as a param right so instead of having detail here or something like profile you can pass the param and then use the value as the title now how can you do this let's move to the code and then on the detail stack we are going to say the same thing options and then suppose we want to just hard code the title we are just going to say title and then put in the profile here putting the profile in quotes so profile here like so so it should now be profile but that's not what we want we want the value of the params okay because we are passing the params from the, from the home screen so when you move from the home screen to the details screen we are passing this params which which is name and then age now to use this how we can actually do this is instead of directly having the curly braces here to put the um the key value pair so i'm going to use a function right and then the function is going to take some props and then the props is going to take the route object okay you know this route object we are going to get the params values from it we're going to get the params values from it so i'm going to see the function and then we are going to see what we can now pass in the key value pair so i'm going to say the title the title should be route dot params right as you can see params then dot the value okay so the value of the params we want to use is name okay because in the home screen the values you are passing for the params are what name and then age or you want the name the name here okay you want the value of name here so that's what we want so we are going to pass the name here so now when we move to the details screen we should now see kelvin soa as the value here so it means if the user's name is something instead of kelvin soa something like 
John Doe. We should now see that when we move to the details screen. Okay, so we should see John Doe as the title of the header here as well. Okay, so what if we want to change the color of the header? Right, we want to change, we don't like the white color. What if we want to change it? So on the home, we are, we are, we are going to do this on the home, right? So on the home screen, we are going to see header well sorry it should it should be in the options um it should be in the options object so we're going to say header we're going to say header we're going to say header style and then it's also an object first of all we need to add a comma here since it's in an object i'm going to say header style and then we we can say background color background color and then we pass in the color so we are going to say orange i'm going to use orange as the color here let's see what we have here okay so as you can see the background color has now changed from white to orange as we want it okay so now we can also change the color of the um, the, the title here we can change that to change it to we are going to say um header tint color right so that's the title so we're going to use a white color so i'm going to say hash hash f f f which is a white color exactly what we want it to be good so now that that is done what if because now when when, when you move to the detail screen we don't have the styling over there okay we don't have the styling over there does it mean that we we if we want to have this um style in this color and then this text on all our screens all the headers of our screen does it mean that we are going to have to pass in all the options the options in all the screens well we don't have to do that actually there is a simpler way that we can do this write it once and then it's going to affect all the headers of the screens okay now how can we do that so we move to the stack dot navigator right inside the stack dot navigator we are going to use the screen options okay it's also an object I'm going to use the screen options and then i'm going to cut in everything here um let's use the header and then the tint color here then we are going to paste it here okay good so now that we've pasted it in the stack dot navigation navigator if we move to the detail screen we should see the same style in here as you can see yes now this is happening because we have now made the styling accessible to all the screens within, within the navigator okay now this this is how it actually works you can easily have this custom styling for all the screens in the for all the screens in our navigator okay so that's going to be it for this episode if you've learned something new do well to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel as well hit the subscribe button as well and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of these videos anytime i, I drop them because i'm going to be dropping vi a video every single week so if you are new to the channel do well to hit the subscribe button and i'm going to appreciate it very much all right thank you for watching this video catch you in the next one